Hey all you cinema buffs out there, Dennis bringing you my review of Baywatch. Now Baywatch is based on the popular 90s TV show of the same name. For those of you who remember it, you remember the hot women in the bathing suits, the cheesy dialogue, even cheesier characters. By no means was this an Emmy winning show. And so walking into this movie, I had very, you know, middle to low expectations. I mean, the source material itself isn't great. And this is one of those clear cut cases of studio copycatting where they saw how 21 Jump Street worked as like, oh, hey, a hard R comedy reboot of this like 90s TV show. That's all it takes to make this, you know, successful and launch a franchise like they did with 21 Jump Street. And I'm going to compare it to this movie a lot because that movie a lot because it wants to be 21 Jump Street so bad does this movie. Now, the leads in this movie are Dwayne Johnson and Zac Efron, two guys who can be funny. And I admit that there is some chemistry between the two of them, but... Whereas what worked in 21 Jump Street, it was a buddy cop. Like they became buddies and they were friends throughout it. Whereas they're like rivals, Dwayne Johnson, Zac Efron in this movie. And it doesn't necessarily play very well. Like there's this running joke. It wasn't funny the first time they did it in the movie. And it certainly wasn't funny by the time they got to like 24, 25. I'm not even joking. Like 20 plus times this joke happens in this movie. Dwayne Johnson refers to Zac Efron by some kind of boy band, like saying he looks pretty, like, you know, a guy from a boy band. And he's like pulling out everything, like everything from New Kids on the Block to like One Direction. Every boy band he can think of, he always addresses them as that. And it's like, it wasn't funny the first time, and it certainly wasn't funny throughout the whole movie. And it's just the, the inconsistency of that, of that joke sinks in with the inconsistency of the comedy. This movie had six writers on it, and I feel like there was like six different kinds of comedy. Now, I'll admit, in the beginning of this movie, I was laughing. First half hour was actually pretty enjoyable. But then once they got into like character development and plot development, and it got bogged down by the next time they brought laughs around, it just wasn't that funny. If it had any steam at that point, it had lost it. And I just think that the things that they tried to do, you know what they were trying to do, and I liked what they were trying to do, they didn't execute it very well. Like, there's a character in this movie. He's kind of like your normal Joe schlub kind of guy who wants to really try hard and be a lifeguard. And he has this uh, uh, romantic uh, plot with C.J. Parker, you know, Pamela Anderson's former character, the, the hottest girl on the beach. And they try to get you to root for this guy and this girl to get together, but they never give you a reason to root for the guy. It's not like he has this establishing scene where he does something that makes you sympathize for him and you want to cheer for him. Then you find out about his crush and you're rooting for him in that. No, they open with his crush. So immediately you walk in and you're like, why should I root for this guy to get with this girl? Because he's ordinary looking and she's super hot. Like, you know, it just, they knew what they wanted to do, but they couldn't execute it. And I think that with the different writers and everything, it's like, at one point, they focus on the romance between CJ and the normal guy. Then they go from Zac Efron and Alexandria Daddario's character. And it's just back and forth. They didn't have any real focus. And the meanwhile, like they're kind of propping up uh, Dwayne Johnson's version as Mitch Buchanan as like some kind of Superman. And that in itself just also kind of didn't work. Like We know The, uh, the Rock is awesome, but just like the whole everybody in the movie thinking the same thing, it just you couldn't really go with it. But as I said in the beginning, this movie was funny to start. I mean, there were some laughs there, and I like I really got into it. I thought that this would actually be okay and you know, a passable kind of movie. But with the different writers, you can tell they went for different tones, and you could they just handpicked their favorite jokes out of each of the different scripts and just kind of threw them in there together. So tonally the comedy wasn't consistent, and I think that's why the laughs were also inconsistent. And you know, this is an action comedy, so you know, there was some action in there, but there's nothing stand out about it. It's just kind of like you're running the mill. Like there wasn't even any real memorable moments. And I, I don't really expect the action to be too great out of an action comedy, but even like movies like Rush Hour have at least one memorable moment of action to go with the comedy. And I just feel like that's where it kind of fell flat. And once again, it's one of those things where you knew what they were trying to do and you appreciate them for trying, but just they didn't execute it right. Buffs. So all in all, I mean, there were some enjoyable parts of Baywatch, but it's not a movie I can really recommend to anybody. It's one of those things where it's, it wanted to be 21 Jump Street. It just couldn't hit the notes. I mean, 21 Jump Street was such a lightning in a bottle movie where you had the right combination of writing, directing, acting, and they, they all knew what they wanted to do. 
In this movie, you feel like five people don't have to do five different things. They just kind of mash them all together. So, all in all, guys, I can't give this a passing score, but it's not the worst movie. I don't think it'll make my bottom five of the year. I'm going to give Baywatch a 4.5 out of 10. All right, guys, so that's it for my review of Baywatch. What'd you think? Did you see the movie? What'd you think of it? What do you think of the old show? Go ahead, leave all your comments down below, and don't forget to show your support by like, sharing, and clicking that subscribe button on your left. So until then, don't forget, there's no place like the theater.